There are a lot of people out there looking for the next MMORPG to fill the void in their life. And many of you have a completely different background than one another on which MMO you came from. You could have come from World of Warcraft or Guild Wars or EverQuest or Arc Age or Dark Ages of Camelot or Lineage, Lineage 2, the list goes on and on. But one thing most of those games had in common, at least in the beginning of their life, is they had a very old school approach with systems that you really don't see much of these days. Systems that that Ashes of Creation is planning to bring back in a way. Not all of them, but a bunch that gamers just aren't used to these days that will really take some getting used to when they first step foot in Nevera. Things like open world dungeons, minimal fast travel, long travel distances, extremely long leveling times, and no group or raid finder. Things that for the most part are a convenience, but ultimately had a huge impact on how the game was played. So if the minority player base isn't used to those systems anymore, why is Ashes of Creation bringing them back? And how do they plan on making these systems appeal to a newer generation of gamers who have never really had to spend long hours looking for a party or raid, or travel for two hours halfway across the continent just to get to the destination they want. Well, for starters, these features like Group Finder and Fast Travel are a norm now for video games because they appeal to the mass population of players. They are systems that work great for casuals, but don't disrupt the hardcore player base in the larger scale of things. But when it comes to meeting players, building relationships, and working together to achieve goals, something that MMORPGs were once built around, then they kind of take away from that. It's really hard to meet other players out there in the world when everyone fast travels from point A to point B, or flies depending on if they're a flying mountain or not in the game, and you don't have to speak to anyone to enter a dungeon or raid. You just click a button and boom, you are placed in a group with 25 other people who don't want to say a word to you. So the fact that Intrepid wants to go back in time a bit to get rid of some of these features makes sense. They are trying to make a new MMORPG that brings back the old school nostalgia and socialization with present day technology. A game that has no pay to win and good systems that keeps the players coming back for a long time. And as I've said many times before, Ashes of creation is not a casual game. Yes, there will be things for you to do if you're casual, but it isn't going to come easy only playing a couple hours a week. But how do you make these old school systems appeal to the new generation of gamers is really the hard part. I would say I was peak MMO in my teenage years. That is when I had the most free time to sit down and play these games for long periods of time with no other commitment and really being able to immerse myself into the world. As I got older, I had less time and less of the ability to do that, which is really just kind of how life works these days. You're trading school and plenty of free time for full-time jobs and family and other adult responsibilities that tend to give you less actual game time. So I do think the biggest crowd to any MMO these days are going to come from that time frame of kids that are in their late teens, early 20s, and haven't really settled down into what their life may become. But those same groups of kids are the ones who are not used to these hardcore old school systems. Not to say that they are the only ones going hard in the game, there is an entire generation generation of us waiting for that next MMORPG that we've been waiting 10 to 15 years to finally play and we will be jumping into it but most of us won't have as much time as we once did. Which will make some of those long leveling no group finder gameplay a bit more of a hindrance but still something that I can't wait to see again and really feel the world come to life with the player interaction and the community it builds. Intrepid is going to need to make those old school type systems feel a bit like they are norm for this but it's really that old school player base that is going to need to sell it to the younger crowd. But I believe once people get used to those systems, it'll become the norm for Ashes of Creation and they will realize the design choices behind it. They may come to like it or they may quit and move on to something else. It's just how it works. But the player numbers will need to stay strong for these more hardcore systems to work as they're intended. Having 10,000 players per server will be an amazing feat for Intrepid to really make those worlds feel alive. But if those numbers start to dwindle, Intrepid will need to stay on top of merging and combining those dead servers to keep the numbers up. With the world as massive as it is, it'll make finding groups a lot more challenging with lower server populations. One of the perks of group finders is that you are always able to get a group together and you're not going to get frustrated by not finding the right people. Long leveling times and lack of fast travel tie into it a small amount as well because it'll take time for you to get to the raid you want to do and it takes time for players to hit max level to do those raids. But those design choices have a much smaller impact that people will be able to get used to a lot quicker. Same with open world dungeons. Once guilds figure out how to manage 
manage them, you won't care that they're open world as long as you have your defenses up. Part of the fun of defending a dungeon will be from another guild coming in to try and take you out, especially when it catches you off guard and you still manage to succeed. Ashes of Creation maintaining that younger player base is one of the bigger concerns that I have for the game. Not the systems in place or the combat or the cosmetic shop, because for in order for Ashes of Creation to succeed and stay with us for many years to come, they will need to win over the players and keep the players coming back like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy managed to do. Otherwise, this game could eventually turn into another wild star. What are your thoughts on Ashes of Creation appealing to the younger generation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.